Okay, so today is Friday the 17th of September and it is time to tackle this disaster <laughs> of a uh, play area in the conservatory. It's not too hot today so that should be nice. Crack open a couple of windows and get on with it I guess. We've got guests this weekend so I kind of really want this space to look a bit more put together. There's also a bunch of stuff in there that needs to come in here as well so let's do this hi guys so as you'll have seen from the title of this video that this is going to be mostly about Layla's room makeover but I thought um, before we get into the room reno stuff that I would show you guys I had to um, tidy up the conservatory which also includes a bunch of Layla's toys it's kind of like a play area for Layla. The, the conservatory is a bit of an odd shape at the moment. It's kind of a laundry area as you can see me there gathering up all the dry stuff and um, uh, random storage things. We have a broken washing machine that we've been waiting months for to be collected. It's supposed to be collected in a couple of days so fingers crossed. The cat trees there, both boys are on the cat tree at the moment and um, they're both gonna run away pretty soon once they start vacuuming. But uh, but yeah, so I wanted to sort through all of Layla's toys. As I mentioned in the clip before, we've got we had visitors coming that weekend, and since I was planning on doing up her room the next morning on the Saturday, I thought it would be worth going through all of her toys downstairs, getting that all tidied up because then some of those were going to have to go back up to her room, and some of the stuff from her room would be coming down here. So all that to say, it just made sense to get her stuff organised. Plus, it was quite a state and I just wanted to get things a bit more organised. I don't typically tidy up and organise her toys very frequently. I kind of try to leave that to her to try and teach her how to do that herself. But every now and again, um, maybe every two to three months, I will go through and do a clear out, a tidy up, a uh, reorganisation type of thing. Mainly because I notice that once when I do do that, she does tend to play with her toys a bit better, a bit more. She's more inclined to play with them when she can actually find the things that she's looking for. But I also don't want to get into the habit of her expecting me to always be tidying up her toys either. So trying to teach her to do it herself for the most part and once you know once I have done the tidying she does do a pretty good job of keeping up with it for a couple of weeks and then things start to go downhill again I mean she is only four and a half so I don't expect a huge amount from her yet but she's learning the basics about um, tidying up after herself which is never a bad thing uh, so I have this basket that I actually put on top of this unit which I uh, store lots of like jigsaw puzzles and other sort of boxed toys as it were and I kind of rotate through them I'll pull out a few things put a few things back and um, organize things that way as well so that's also pretty handy and then this is a really satisfying part when I came to clean up her kitchen as you can see toys just pile up and she doesn't really put things away properly so I think at one point in a second I'm literally just gonna like pull everything off the top so the way I typically approach tidying up her toys or just her stuff in general or anything in general is I kind of pull everything out of the place that I am tidying. So like for example if it is Layla's kitchen or her art desk or whatever it is I'll just pull everything out, put it onto the floor and then go through and organise and put things back where they're supposed to go, obviously cleaning it first. But uh, and then put things back where they're supposed to go and then I'll have a pile for things that need to be donated or thrown away, a pile for things that don't belong there that need to go to a different part of the house um and then a pile and then as i'm going through the things that do belong there get put away properly um and then that way she can more easily find the things that she's looking for so right now like i put all her yarn in this little basket a little yarn stash it's adorable and um originally i just put it in the in the kitchen but later i do actually take it upstairs and put it in her bedroom where it's more appropriate <laughs> yarn does not belong in the kitchen unless you're dyeing it <laughs> anyway uh, just finishing up here now and and yeah so not a huge amount to say at this point just going through organizing tidying up and putting things away the one thing I see so that's what I mean it's like I tidy things up I leave things on the floor if the area that I'm tidying isn't where those things belong as it were and then as I get around to different things I'll put them away as it were or whatever. Um, so now I'm just like emptying out her dollhouse to give it a good clean and then put everything back. I will be honest it has been a while since I've had to dress Barbies or just dolls in general 
Um, that took that was a bit fiddly, a bit more fiddly than I was expecting. But um, she loves taking the clothes off the dolls, but then can't get the clothes back on, so they end up naked. Um, and and yeah, so it was actually quite fun rearranging her dollhouse. It's uh, quite fun to play with them. But but yeah, didn't take too long. Bit of Hoover every now and again. Honestly, it feels like I'm constantly Hoovering, and I Hoovered up so many spiders during this uh, cleaning up of the conservatory. It's oh just makes me cringe a little bit. I mean, I'm not scared of spiders. I don't mind them so much, but um, the num the sheer volume of spiders in this house, because it is an old house, it's not exactly super weather tight or anything. So there are tons and tons of spiders all over the place. Um, yep. So there we go. Dressing up the dolls. <laughs> and yeah, almost finished, I think. And then finally decided since I had the Hoover out already to tidy up and Hoover in the living room. <sighs> Honestly, it was it was an exhausting afternoon. I did this on a Friday, and then the following day we um, did Layla's room. But it looks it looks good after it's all done. It's uh, it looks good, and that's always a very satisfying feeling to have a clean house. So here we go. It's the finished toy section area of the conservatory with all her stuff nicely organised and easier for her to play with everything so she definitely enjoys it a lot more now i find she definitely goes towards it and wants to play with her things can find her things a lot easier and yeah has a good time with it okay so next up we're gonna be sorting out layla's bedroom and getting that all set up oh well actually here you go passed out in the conservatory it was very hot that day in the conservatory our conservatory is south facing so here in the uk is south facing um window means you get all the sun in the morning and early afternoon so um yeah very hot in there anyway so first thing i did in layla's room was get the doorknobs back on her wardrobes and i did actually paint them i don't think i showed this in the diy video or you might have seen a little clip of it but i painted them um each one a different rainbow color just got little round little flat round circular wooden doorknobs and then th then came probably what took us the longest to figure out, which was putting up the box crates um, shelving set up around her, around her room. Um, the first couple of boxes took the longest because we had to make sure they were level. I, I say we, I mean Perry. Let's be honest here, Perry did most of this bit um, whilst I poodled around and did other jobs or tried to help him where I could. And uh, yeah, like I said, because these boxes aren't the strongest, they're not, they're they're not the strongest on their own so he wanted to use some brackets against the sides of the wardrobes to protect them we also wanted to avoid putting in as many nails and screws into the finished walls as possible so we used no more nails to attach the um, cubbies to the sides and then used screws and things to secure them to the brackets and then more screws to secure them into the sides of the wardrobes so here I'm just cleaning up this mirror. The mirror was very dusty and quite dirty. And to be quite frank, at some point, I'm gonna to have to repaint the frame because it's um, it's a bit damaged, but um, it's fine for now. It does the job as it were. Um, just giving this a good little clean. Uh, we Perry found this when we were living in our old house and we never actually mounted it or put it on a wall before. So it's just kind of followed around with us for the last couple of years. And finally, it is now going up on a wall or it's now, gonna have been up on a wall in Layla's room and so here we're just very still <laughs> assembling the shelving unit while I'm sorting through Layla's things her toys her play jewelry I think is what I'm doing her hair clips and stuff and her like toy jewelry and things that she has um it's what I'm doing putting things back into her wardrobes and occasionally offering a helping hand every now and again to Perry as he needed it I will be honest this was definitely the longest part of our day and the whole room reno definitely took a while. Like, I think from when we first started, when I first started attaching doorknobs, to when it was finally, finally finished, took about six hours. So it was, yeah, it was a long day. A lot of, uh, a lot of work, a lot of, by the end of it, you might be able to tell in the footage at some points, I look like I'm waddling when I'm walking because it's so sped up. But I tend to do that when I, when my back starts to hurt, I end up waddling rather than like walking more properly. Um, which is kind of funny and I didn't really realize that until um, looking back at the footage so here I'm just giving Perry a hand by gluing some of the boxes together so these three boxes are the ones that are going to go across the top 
as the top of the arch so I was just pre-gluing them together so we could give those as long as possible to dry before we put them up um, especially because the middle box isn't going to actually be secured to anything other than the two boxes either side of it so we just wanted to be extra extra sure that they were going to be nice and secure so here you can see Perry adding some extra screws into the boxes to secure them against the sides of the wardrobes so we did no more nails glue as well as the screws just for added security and just peace of mind for ourselves to be honest so here I am taking the uh, string of pom-poms and so these pom-poms actually came like just separate from the string they weren't attached and I ended up getting three sets of pom-poms I didn't use all the colors that came in the sets and I actually ended up really liking the fact that they came separately and not already pre-strung so I was able to string them up in whatever color order I wanted and then I just sort of hung them up and attached them around the blind in her room to, because her blind is super plain I didn't want I wanted to add a bit of color to that part of the room as well so now I'm under her bed and organizing all of her toys in these boxes I decided because she can't when she takes um, when we moved to this house we put this shelving unit with the boxes under her bed but what happened was the boxes on the top row you know she couldn't when she pulled it out she couldn't see inside the boxes because it's so close to the underside of her bed so I decided to get rid of the boxes on the first row and just use it as shelving so she has open shelving that she can grab and put things away and then the bottom ones hold things like Legos, smaller little bitty toys, a couple of box toys and things like that. So here are some of her favourite books on the bookshelf. This little shelf here. She does have like a separate bookcase which I didn't actually film reorganising. But uh, these books are quite a bit thicker and chunkier so they're harder to hold in that fabric bookcase. Um, yeah and so here Perry's putting the glue on the final bits of the shelving unit to be done which was... It was really nice to see it all come together quite nicely and like I said the shelving unit is mostly decorative and especially that top row isn't going to be holding anything super heavy at all. So now Perry's done his part we attached the mirror and also a little shelf behind Layla's bed which we didn't I didn't actually film um, him installing those but now basically I'm just going around and decorating the shelving units here with some picture frames some other little ornaments Oh no! That's annoying.
Okay, so you'll have seen I just, I used command strips for pretty much everything that I hung up in her room that didn't have to be screwed into the wall. So you can see me here rather inaccurately somehow like eyeballing attaching these clipboards. So an idea that I had was to have a, an option for Layla to hang some artwork in her room but not in a permanent way. So I decided I got these clipboards and I hung up the six, six of them in this space in this archway and I've just clipped some of her artwork that she's done already and um, but then we can rotate them so as she creates new things if she wants to hang them in her room we can take something out put something else in um, and then you can see me now attaching this wind chime that we got when we were on holiday this summer uh, Layla and I we picked it out together and I said I'd try and hang it in her room now I couldn't hang it anywhere where it would actually blow in a wind in the wind if the window was open but I was able to stick about four different command strips on it and secure it to the wall. Hopefully it will hold. So far it's holding really well. Um, so, because it is fairly heavy. But I was able to get it on there nice and secure, which was great. So now I'm just adding more command strips to other items, like the letters from her name that she painted. I did actually end up doing another two coats of paint over the top because she got bored of doing it and she asked me to finish it which is fine, um, you know, she's there again, only four and a half, she only has so much patience, and adding command strips to all these different frames that I was going to hang up. Um, like I said, command strips are great, um, they don't damage the walls, they're easy to remove, and easy to actually install as well, you don't have to worry about nailing stuff into walls, creating holes, so whether or not you're a renter, I know they're really like renter friendly type of thing, but even if you're not a renter, um, you know, we just had our walls done, we just had everything freshly painted. I don't want to start making extra holes where I don't need to. And um, I will be quite honest, uh, and you'll notice <laughs> as I'm doing it, I pretty much eyeballed everything that I was doing with um, hanging stuff on the walls. I wasn't super like pre-measured out or anything like that. I did use a spirit level a couple of times just to make sure some things were going to be straight, like her name on the wall. I was like, certain things are just going to look weird if they're not level. So I use the spirit level just to gate, make sure it's straight and I just use the width of the spirit level to decide where they're going to hang on the wall above the mirror and stuff like that. Um, there again I use it again a few times to figure out how far away something's going to be from something else but I didn't use it a huge amount and I pretty much winged it for most of this. Um, there are a few places where it probably could have benefited from having been a little bit more planned out than it was, but I think it all came together really nicely in the end. And um, we can always move things around later. Again, because we use command strips, it's fairly easy to take them off and put something else up if we wanted to in the future. And, um, and yeah, so I think I'm gonna leave you with some music for a while more until I come back and chat a bit more at the end.
time for the final room reveal. So here we go in through her door and right behind her door is her height chart, a little wall hanging from my friend Nicole and a picture like a painting that I did of the letter L for her. And here you can see her bookshelf underneath her bed with the uh, yellow shelving unit and her big teddy. And then on top of her bed, you've got her be new bedding that I got and these paintings that I did for her room. I do have a video on these on my art channel, which I will, it may or may not be up yet. <laughs> and then the rainbow clouds that I made for her that very morning. And there's that little cloud shelf that Perry screwed into the wall for her. It's great, so she now has a shelf to put her water on. And she's got the little rainbow macrame that I made her hanging off her wardrobe, the pom-poms on the blind, and then the big shelving unit. Now the one thing I forgot to really mention earlier was that I wanted this room to be a surprise for Layla. So she must have thought she'd won the lottery because I basically let her watch the iPad all day just to keep her out of my way so she wouldn't come and figure out what's going on. Now there's that box frame at the top there that's got nothing in it yet but that's um, going to have her hand and footprint from when she was a baby once I find them because they're in a box somewhere. And yes, that's her room. And now we're going to go ahead and watch her reaction because it's so cute. You ready to see your room? The rainbow room now. Go look. Go look. Go look. Where are those? They're toys. What? They're like little stuffing toys. But what do we do with them? We play with them. How do we play? I'll show you later. What do you think about your room? <laughs> do you like it? Mm -hmm. You have a nice big mirror. Oh, it's not standing. It's alright, I'll do it. It's just because it's a hole there. Wait, why is that sticking? Because I've hung it up for you. I want, can I want to put it on my head? Well, when you want to wear it, you can ask me. I'll help you get it off so it doesn't... Um, so it doesn't uh, damage the wall, okay? Well, what would you think about everything else? Is that a brighter bulb? I don't know. Oh, yeah, that works. Why are you screen with red? Why are you screen with red? Well, no, because it goes red, then up there is orange, yellow, green, and then it moves across here, and then it's blue, darker blue, purple, and then pink. Hi. That's why. <coughs> Like it? Put your pictures up. Um, mummy. Yeah. Got to tell you. Okay. Um, um, can I tell you something? Um, 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 and this is from. That we buy that. We did buy that one. I told you I'd hang it up in your room for you, didn't I? Yeah. You see all the other things I put up for you. You seen the bunny that you painted that's up there as well? Where? Yes, on this one. Yeah. How about you go on your bed where you can see everything on the shelves better? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, um, my lamp. Yeah, lamp. I want to turn it on. Alright, I'll turn it on for you. What's this? Oh, just be careful, the red one's a bit broken. I need to no more nails it. Um, it's like a, I'm just going to fix it's it, like okay? chipped on the bottom there, so I'll have to... I'll oh, you'll fix it, okay? I'll fix it, and then we can take it down and you can play with it. That one's just a, that one's just for show, the dolly. We've got little dolls there, rainbow yeah, dolls. Those ones you can play with, those, that's why I put them where you can reach them. And what's this on your wall? These are the toys. And I'm going to put it for your dream. Oh, you found Pep Pep. I did find Pep Pep. I told you I found Pep Pep. What do you think about the the pictures on the wall? Yeah. You know, the ones on by your bed? <laughs> yeah, you like them? Yeah. Do you know what? Do you know? Sam, yeah, go on. My name is Sammy Wainwright. Yeah, and do you know what the words say above the sun? Can you guess? Worm. No, it says you are my friend. Sunshine. Sunshine. You are my sunshine. Because that's the song we sing, isn't it? Yeah. Is it, uh, is it you are my sunshine, my only sunshine? Yeah, that one. 
And what do you think about the clouds above your shelf? Weird. They're nice and fluffy. Yeah. But they're not toys, okay? So you can't like pull them down or anything, but you can gently, you can touch them a little bit. Yeah. What are these? Those are called tassels. I did them so they look like little colourful raindrops. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? Mummy, mm? can I put pet pet there please? Of course you can, you put pet pet wherever you want. It's your bedroom, Layla. You can rearrange it however you like with the toys. I just put them somewhere that I thought you might like. Uh, I do like them there. I can't want to change Okay. Have you looked under your bed? No. Let's go have a look under your bed. Uh, I think Teddy too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Teddy. Did you put Teddy there? I did put Teddy there. Come on, slide down, baby. You remember before, you can oh, take out the top boxes very easily or see what was in them. Uh -huh. So I got rid of the top boxes and now they're like shelves and I've put some of your toys and some of your things in there. You've got one shelf which has your knitting can and I your put, yarn and your rainbow. Can I put my four? I chose it. Yeah, you did. No. I don't know if Daddy's Charles the back. Can you have a mirror now, Layla, as well? Layla? You also have a mirror now. <gasps> Can I show you something else? Yep. Turn that off. Have you seen that? Put all your little bow hair clips on there. So when you get dressed, you can put them on. When I put so, yeah, you just have to be very gentle when you take them off so it doesn't rip the thing. Oh, this is my favourite one. Yeah? I wear it all the time, really. <laughs> Sometimes I wear it all the time. Yeah. Okay, so that was her reaction. and This is what her room used to look like when we first moved in. And then I thought I'd do a little slideshow quickly of some um, in-progress pictures from what the room went through, the different stages. We did her floors. And um, when we first got her rug, which was like the first big bit of furniture, like colourful furniture we put in, and here's her the room when it's all done. And I'm so excited with how it's turned out. She absolutely loves it. She's promised me, she keeps telling me that she's going to keep it super tidy. Well, she's done a pretty good job so far, in fairness. And um, she's just so in love with it. She's, And I'm so in love with it as well. I'm so happy with how it turned out. And thank you for joining us on this journey. There'll be another house reno vlog coming soon. But thank you for joining me today. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.